Buy, evict, cash in. That's what we're doing today, folks. I'm going to show you how to buy, evict, and cash in from anywhere in the world. You're going to make a ton of money, do very little work. There is work to be done, and it's dirty work. But guess what? We're going to handle that. Let's check it out. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. James Wise here. Today, I'm working with my client, Rachel, from California. Now, we're looking at some bird deals for you, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Uh, and as we're trying to find good long-term investments for you, I figured you'd want to check this out. I got something that came across my desk that I think you're going to love. Very quick deal. Wholesale flip here, right? You're not going to have to do much. My team will do all the dirty work, and we'll be able to put twelve grand in your pocket. I figured, hey, while we're waiting for some birds to come in, who wouldn't want twelve grand, right? Basically, once we evict this tenant, that's when the money is made, and my team's going to do all that nasty stuff for you. So if you've ever considered buying distressed properties that uh, have non-paying tenants in there and you want to know how all that goes and how we as landlords turn it into money, let's take a look right after this. Hi, my name is Terry, and given my unique status as an undead killer clown, I found my job opportunities to be fairly limited throughout my life. Then, once the COVID shutdowns hit, I, like many other Americans, found myself in a really tough financial position. After I lost my job, I couldn't even take care of my wife and kids, let alone think about anything like financial freedom. All my hope was lost. I was stuck in a downward spiral of despair and drinking. I was looking for answers, but I didn't know where to turn. I didn't know what to do. Then, then one day, everything changed for me. I discovered Holton Wise TV and how to invest in real estate. And my whole world, my whole outlook changed. And it could do the same for you if you click the link below. Welcome back, folks. Now, this, this is honestly my favorite way uh, to, to pull off a wholesale deal. Now, there's a tenant in there, and that tenant, that tenant is the pain point for the seller, okay? In the real world, folks, if you want to make money wholesaling real estate, flipping deals, right? Essentially, wholesaling in the real world is, is, is basically flipping, but you're not repairing anything, right? You, you, you got to take away pain points, right? That's how you make the real money, okay? You got to find motivated sellers who have pain points. And this particular property perfectly illustrates one of those pain points, and it is my favorite way to do it. Now, the reason being, this situation seems so terrible for this particular uh, seller, right? But for us as real estate investors, it's not that big a deal. Now, the address for this bad boy is going to be 3414 West 63rd, Cleveland, Ohio. Now, I pulled this up in a buyer-only view. That's what I do. Uh, they're not publicly showing this address because of the, the, the pain point, the tough situation. But that is the real address. As a broker, I have access to the real address. Don't worry. I'm not even going to release this video until publicly until after this property is sold, right? Because I'm going to respect what the seller's trying to do. They're trying to uh, get through this without dealing with their pain point. And here's their pain point. They took over this property. They acquired this property, right? And it's got some fucking piece of shit living there. That was honestly pretty offensive, folks. But the moral of the story, <laughs> no offense uh, meant to any uh, anybody out there. But the, the, the point of what I'm trying to say is this guy's a fucking prick, all right? That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to give any hidden meanings to my words there. I'm just using slang. That guy's he's a jerk, okay? And he hasn't paid his rent since this person took it over. And that's great for you because the seller doesn't want to deal with him. They, For whatever reason, they're like petrified 
of the eviction process. And I, I get, you know, I guess that's common, right? Like uh, a lot of people don't like evicting people. Myself, I fucking love evicting people. As a matter of fact, I sell hoodies that say I love evictions. And if you want to buy one, you just click the link below. And then I'll tell you what, I'll give you a promo code, HWTV10, get 10% off. I love evicting people. I think evicting people is better than a sunrise on a Sunday morning, folks. I think evicting people is better than a hug from your kids. There's nothing that gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling in my soul than taking some fucking piece of shit asshole tenant like this and booting them the fuck out of our houses, those fucking lying, thieving pieces of shit. You know what I'm saying? It just makes me feel good, right? Because you know what? They're fucking criminals, right? They're stealing from this person, okay? And I know all them liberal not maniacs out there that don't know what the hell they're talking about. They're like, no! Ah, how could you make people homeless? Because he's a thief. He, we're not making him homeless. We're just not letting him steal from this fucking poor bastard, right? So anyway, I love evicting people. I think evicting people is like the hands of justice, right? Evicting people to me... Film and evictions, which, by the way, we do. Tennis from Hell Show. Check it out. Film live evictions. Most popular videos are typically live evictions. I feel it's like an episode of Cops, right? You get to watch the perp, get what's coming to them. Let them know, hey, bro, not here, no more. You don't get to steal from these good, good people, right? No, the liberals, they're all like, Black Rock's buying all the houses. Not true. Black Rock owns like 8% of the rental properties in the United States of America. The other 92% are owned by mom and pops, normal, hardworking people like you, like this poor son of a bitch who's about to lose a lot of money. It is what it is. We're going to make money, though, and that's why these situations are great. So you got this guy. He's acquired this property. He's petrified of this fuckhead tenant, right? He's not trying to evict him. He's just scared. He's like, screw it. I just buy it. Somebody take this property for me. No showings, no information on the property. You got to gamble here. You got to buy it. A little bit of risk to this? Yeah, but guess what? This is how I make my money, folks. These are the deals you want because this guy's got such a pain point. He's trying to get 33.9 for it. Nobody's offering it to him. It's been on the market six months. A lot of people are like, fuck this, bro. You got a horrible tenant in there, and I can't even view the inside of your property. I'm not interested in it. And that's where I have made freaking hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably millions, actually, with this exact strategy if I were to add it all up. You come in, you solve the problem, you get a huge discount. So what I want you to do? We're going to make an offer of 17000 All right, We're going to buy it. Buy it cash, seventeen grand. we are going to have about $1,000 of closing costs. And then we're going to have to hold it for a little bit, right? That's the cool thing. That's the advantage of partnering with Holton Wise. Doesn't matter where you live. Holton Wise is going to be your team on the ground, right? Holton Wise, we are not afraid of evicting this piece of shit. As a matter of fact, we're going to enjoy evicting this piece of shit. We're going to film it. We're going to put it on Holt Weiss TV. And you guys are probably all going to watch it later. Like, dude, that's that stupid piece of shit that they said they were going to evict. We're going to evict this dumb motherfucker, right? That's what's going to happen because that's what he deserves. By the time we take over the property, manage it, and actually evict him, there's going to be some holding costs. There's going to be some time. I'm projecting out about a $4,000 estimate. I can't tell you exactly how many months it's going to take. Do I think this guy's going to put up a good fight? Yeah, absolutely. But what that is, is it's going to be us holding it, us managing it for a few months, uh, my team going out there changing the locks, this or that, right? So that's the goal. So all in, I think you'll be all in at about twenty-two grand, right? Why do I think the seller's willing to take such a low-ball offer of only seventeen? He's got no other options, and he's petrified of this tenant. So he just wants somebody to come rescue him, come take him away, right? It's twenty-two K. And then... The moment we get this piece of shit out of this house, I'll be able to sell it for about 40 k Do I know the exact condition of it? No. Is there going to be some risk on your part? Yeah, that's the fucking game, though, dude. If you want to come in and make ten, twelve thousand $12,000, this deal, I'm projecting a profit of twelve k for you. No risk it, no biscuit, baby. This is what I do. You want to be a full-time real estate entrepreneur? You want to make your money wholesale in real estate? You got to make these gambles, right? If you're not willing to make these gambles, you'll be just like that seller who doesn't know what to do with this tenant, right? This is what we do. I think it'll be worth about 40. I'll be able to sell it to Burr investors, okay? That's the cool thing. You partner with Holton Wise, you don't have to find the end buyer. You don't have to worry about the ARV. I'm estimating that for you. What do I know? Well, I don't know. I've sold $200 million for this stuff. Run the biggest rental portfolio in the city of Cleveland of its kind, scattered site, just like this. This is what we do, folks. 
I think 40k is pretty reasonable, assuming the house needs like a full-on renovation, like a $40,000 reno. Now, if there's like crazy structural issues, uh, will that hurt that price a little bit? Yeah, uh, that's just a gamble you're gonna have to take, man. No risk it, no biscuit. If I sell it at 40, uh, you're gonna pay me five, and then you're gonna net $12,005, right? So in summary. You buy it completely sight unseen. You get no other information other than the picture, and you got a seller who's like bent over sideways from some piece of shit tenant. You're going to have Holden Wise manage the property for you. We're not going to fix up the property. All we are going to do, take over the property, remove said piece of shit tenant. Once said piece of shit tenant is removed, we shall then sell it to our investors as a bird deal, thus putting about 12000 in your pocket. That, folks, is how the whole thing should work, right? This is wholesaling. This is wholesaling in the real world. This is how people really make millions, hundreds of thousands, thousands, whatever you want to call it. This is how it's actually done. Is it a luxurious game? No, it's a dirty game. But hey, that's the business. All those people out there teaching you guys about this course or that course, and you just don't have to put up any money. You just get to do assignment fees. They're wrong, bruh. They're wrong. You know what they're doing? They're selling you guys courses, and that's where it ends, right? This whole assignment fee stuff, folks, that's where you uh, take a motivated seller, this guy, and then you find a, a, a buyer, right? You connect said buyer and seller together, and you collect an assignment fee. Assignment fee also called a commission. You know what that is? That's brokering real estate. Do you know what you need to broker real estate? You need a real estate license in all 50 states. That's the law. So it's actually illegal, but they don't tell you that because they don't really care because that message doesn't sell courses. But hey, I'm a guy who is a licensed broker, and I've sold $200 million worth of real estate. And I'll tell you, a lot of states' divisions of real estates are coming down on you guys, okay? i seen one in Ohio, my home state, $892,000. That is the amount the fine was that they levied against some dudes operating without a real estate license. It's a, it's a, big, it's a big deal, folks. Could you run under the radar uh, and get away with it a few times? Sure, but i tell you what. If you're going to run an illegal business, I don't know what in the hell you'd want to deal with some savage, horrible tenant who's got this person petrified just to illegally make $12,000. Just sell fucking heroin, dude. Heroin is so much easier to sell than something like this, folks. So if you're going to do something illegal, why do something hard? Just sell drugs. They sell themselves. Whenever you have an easy product to sell, people are like, oh, dude, that's so easy. It's like selling crack. Just sell actual crack. It's just as legal as a legally broker in real estate. So if you're going to go that route, just sell crack. This is a little bit harder. So, folks, the moral of the story is if you're going to legally wholesale real estate, you might as well sell crack because it's a lot easier, just as illegal. If you do want to wholesale real estate the real way, this is how you do it. Doesn't matter where you live. My team will do the dirty work on the ground for you. You just got to make the bids. Is there a guarantee the seller accepts our offer? No, but I think he probably will. Dude, that guy seems like he's over a barrel. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.